were there every day. That's one thing, you know. But do you actually You're giving a taste of your own medicine? We have never claimed if you come on our stream regularly and you miss a week, we would never say a no. You you have repeatedly. Are you, are you recording now? <laughs> you have repeatedly uh, said so many times, oh, he ran away, uh, he ran away, and you know, you say it very often. You guys don't come on our streams, but we have a... But we don't run away. I, I mean, I've told you, why don't we come on your streams? Yeah. Because we don't want our audience, people who are completely jahil about Islam... To learn about it. No, 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 no. They can learn about Ahmad Islam if they want. If it's Islam, I don't believe. I don't believe. Likewise. Oh, no, yeah, no problem. Uh, they can learn about Ahmadism if they want to, okay. But if they don't know anything about their own faith, why would we bring them to the wolf spiritually? Yeah. Again, I'm not, I don't believe you guys yeah, are wolves course, physically. You don't pose any physical threat to the Muslim world. Muslims have been dealing you know, with. scholars say Ahmadiyya is the biggest threat to the Muslims. They're wrong. Because yeah. the Muslims are. These are, when they see these these are exaggerations. They have no I believe Ahmadis are no threat to Islam spiritually or physically. So I believe that's this. the point of all these streams. Because, because there, are misguided, there are misguided million of people in the world who are in very uh, powerful positions and the Western governments are. Funding them, supporting them. We're not okay. funded by any government, but let's let's look at the root. I'm not saying you, Ahmadi yeah. Jamaat in itself is funded, but it is facilitated. It is, it has a lot of sympathy on the British government in particular. We have seen how some of the British politicians have been seeing your Khalifa. Okay, but so they they have a very strong relationship. But you see you, the you, Khalifa. Yeah. If you have you ever heard any of the speeches he gives at those parliaments? I, I have. So what does he speak about? He speaks about peace, Quran, love, and compassion. Through Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the same thing. This is the message. Do. This is the, the the reason why Western government in general love it is because it's what the like Sunni like the Ahmadis is because Ahmadis blow the trumpet. Ahmadis follow the narrative, Western government's narrative on Islam and Muslims. Muslims are extremists, Muslims are terrorists. There is a, I mean, one of the speakers today in this conference spoke about structural Islamophobia that exists within Western governments. How Western governments from dropping bombs on Muslim countries, from promoting uh, hate against Muslims within the countries these Muslims live in, from that level all the way to the level where they actually prop up groups and entities that can help them promote their narrative to normalize that okay. narrative. So Ahmadis are in that sense like a like a tool, like a pawn in their hands. No, I would Ahmadi is a, because look, Christian nations, these nations, the British, who's their god? Christian nations. Who's their God? They believe in one God. They believe Hazrat that, Isa alayhi salam is God. Well, yeah, I they mean, have one of the persons. God. Yeah. Our community, when our Khalifa speaks, he shows them who Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was. He shows them his greatness. Just hear me out. You brothers, you know, you guys have made Isa alayhi salam someone who's alive in the skies with his body. You guys are the ones who strengthened Christianity. Paul in Corinthians says, if Isa alayhi salam has not been raised up with his body, our faith is in you, You're going to raise a lot of theological questions that I don't have the time to address. We have like had hours upon hours yeah, no, but of you conversation on this topic. You guys are strengthening Christianity. We're saying Isa alayhi salam is dead, he's but, but Christianity is I, I don't think, I, I think we have been uh, knocking dents into Christian theology non-stop, especially for the last 200 years without Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's uh, contribution or he hasn't done anything. He hasn't Have you made... read any of his books regarding Christianity cover to cover? I haven't read his books on Christianity cover to cover. So how I'll can you make that I'll, 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 Because I would have, I'm, 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 I'm a student of comparative religion before I, before I get arrogant and start blowing my trumpet. I'm a student of comparative religion. I've been debating Christians for the last 20 years, the best part of 20 years. and. I have read many important works in this regard, including the Zahar al-Haq of Rahmatullah uh, Ranui, and I believe that work in itself is outdated in many respects. Uh, research has moved on. Likewise, Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, Al-Jawab al-Sahih, Man Baddala Deen al-Masih, 
and Hadayat al Hayara. Okay, of Ibn Qayy. I have read these works. Even Al Milal wa Nihal of Ibn Hazm. I have looked into these works. Mirza, if Mirza was anywhere as an important contributor to uh, this debate, I would have definitely read his works. But how would you find it if you don't read his books? You take a Christian, because you see me, give me a, take a Christian from it today, and he goes like, you know if the Quran had something from God in it, I would have definitely read it. Yeah. Brother, if you don't read it, how will you ever know? This is why Allah... I, I have read enough to know. No, but you haven't read his works in Christianity. Look, Muhammad Hussein Bukhari said, Pierre Merali Gola Shri. They all said, even Dr. Islam, and you know him very well, he made it clear that in the time of India when Muslims were converting to Christianity left and right, it was Mirza Sahib who stood up and defended Islam. This is not true. No, you're to, misrepresenting, to the historians you're like misrepresenting all of them. They, didn't, they never said that. Okay? They actually believed Mirza was a disbeliever. They of actually course believed they did. That. I know so, that. So but they, did they, they say they he defeated possibly... Christianity? No, they, they... I have the interview of Dr. Islam. They Islamic. said, this yeah. is what they said, let me explain the context of what he said. They said Mirza was putting up a challenge to Arya Samaj and Christian missionaries to become famous. No, this is this is their view, God and this is my view. Okay, okay. This so is my view as well. My also my view is also that he was putting up a challenge to Arya Samaj Hindus and also Christians. But that's an assumption. You don't have proof. For I that. have proof for that. Number two, I mean, I don't see, have proof to. You can see you have proof. Yeah, yeah. Me I, what I can do is I can show you the evidence to substantiate my theory. What's your evidence that he was doing it to get famous when? And you would dog this out of I'll, I'll explain. I'll, 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 I'll respond to that. Before you explain. His book, Brahine Ahmadiyya, was supposed to be 50, yeah. 50 volumes, right? And then he publishes one. And he fills some of the pages with Lana, 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 Lana. No, that's see now, this is wrong. That's yeah. a different book. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. So, no, no, see, this no, no. Is what, this in in Brahine Ahmadiyya, no, no, in Brahine Ahmadiyya, Brahim, 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 yeah. there are pages. I've seen, brother, I have the book. Okay, sorry, so, I mixed it up. You're right. Brahine Ahmadiyya is what Batal you said, said it's no, no. the greatest book of pages, Islamic There are pages, history. there are pages in Brahine Ahmadiyya with how many words? Brother, that's the introduction, is the Harad. You have to start from volume 3, 4, 5. So, so I'm not wrong. No, but I have the book in my possession. The introduction, brother, yeah. it was an ishtihad. You can't use that and say that, oh, no, but there why are, would Badal what, what, say it's there, one there are, I, I don't know, I forgot the name of the book where he has Lana to Lana to Lana to Lana to Lana to Lana. Who was that Lana to Lana to I saw it, I saw it in, uh, in uh, uh, Rouhani Fazai. So okay, what was the Lana for? Do you know? Okay. So I'm not wrong about but this. But what was the Lana for? First of all, we get to Lana. But well, you have to explain no, what it's no, first, for. First, it was for the Christians who were sending yes, curses upon I, Nabi Sassim every day I and night. I, I do, I understand, I understand, yeah. I know that. So I know then, that. is there but an issue How with many that? pages did you fill Lana with? There were a thousand Lana. Okay, yeah, yeah. a thousand Lana. Okay. Let me tell you the so, context now. Let me tell you the context. <coughs> Lana, according to Mufradat Imam Ramir, right? It's basically a prayer against someone, a bad dua against them to make them away and far from the Rahmah of Allah, right? The Christians mocked Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam day and night and they raised many allegations and these were Muslims who became Christians and knew Arabic so they claimed. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Alayhi challenged them that I have written this book Nurul Quran, okay? He said, respond to this book and I will give you money so, as a reward. If you don't accept my challenge and you don't retract these lies against Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then I will give you 1,000 Okay, okay, that's fine. And he couldn't answer. That, that, that's fine. Look, I, to me, I don't care about it. I don't care if he fills 50 pages of Lana or 100 pages. The word Lana or Lana the Nurdu, yeah? If he fills with fills fifty or hundred pages, it doesn't. But it's not an argument. Do you agree? It's not an argument. What's that? Lanat. Brother, it's, it's not an argument. Few pages and the whole book refutes Christianity. I, I understand. And you the see how much time do you do the see after the mass? I do 33, 33, 33, 33, and same yeah. with us. In the same with those Christians who mock the Sunnah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't have any dispute with Lana. We don't have any. Of course, but any it's not about that, is it? Of course, it's not. But those Christians, do you do you agree that those Christians who are mocking Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha, Hazrat Sawda radiallahu you, do, you don't know what my, what my you don't know my, what my view is on that. Do you believe they deserve none? Or who? Those Christians who mock Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and our mothers. Did they deserve Lana or 
for that, yeah. we don't have any evidence for that. I have their books. No, no, no. We don't have any evidence from the Prophet The Sorry. Prophet Sorry. said, "Ma bu'ithu la'ana." Yes, you know the hadith. Yeah, yeah. That, I was not sent as a la'an, someone who does la'na yeah. upon people just because he disagrees with them. Of right? Course, okay. Of so I am following the Prophet. But the same Prophet okay. Muhammad did send la'an on people. La'an Allah, la'an Allah, the Jews, the Nasara, it's taqadu kubura, ambiya, and masajid. No, why? Why? No, that's Quran. But that's Quran says, as well. But He's quoting the Quran. But what does the ayah say? For nabtah him. It's Allah commanding them. He says, Summa nabtah him. And then do the la'anat al-Nabi yes. al-Qasbi. And Nabi says, this is, well. this is a long witness. So it's not wrong to my, do my, the My initial point was that Mirza yeah. wrote this book, Barahini Ahmadiyya, in response to... Which you uh, agreed was one of the greatest books of Islam. No, because no, if no, he didn't no, make his claim. No, no, no. I don't... I said the book has good arguments. What does that mean? It has good arguments. That means even Salman Rushdie, even Salman Rushdie and Hitler, for example, as evil as they were, and as evil as Salman, they have said some good stuff. But did you see it was okay. one of the greatest so because, books because an evil person, when an evil person, when, for example, the Shaitan in the Quran, in the Quran, we have a verse where Shaitan said, "Qala," Allah is quoting the Shaitan, "Qala, Rabbi, Rabbi." Um, un, yeah, uh, yeah, un, uh, no. okay. Oh Allah, grant me respite until the day of judgment. Okay. But did you now, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi is a noble statement. Shaitan is calling Allah Rabbi, my Rabb. Here, there is a virtue. But does that mean Shaitan is a Muslim? Of course not. Shaitan is the one who, used, who taught the use of Ayatul Kursi yeah, to, yeah. Uh, to Abu Huraira. Right? But the question is, the question So we say Sadaqa yeah. about Mirta Bala Man Qadiyani. This is my response for that. This is finished once or twice. But did you say it was one of the greatest books of Islamic history? But you accepted it as one of the greatest books of Islamic history. I understand your point of view. Do you understand my perspective on Mirza yes. Where, where, he, where Mirza spoke Islamic the truth? History. Where Mirza said, La ilaha illallah, Sadaqa. Where Mirza said, Muhammad Rasulullah, Sadaqa. Where Mirza said, Ana Nabiyun, Kadu, okay. liar. Do you, do you agree Brahim Ahmadiyya was one of the greatest books of Islamic no, history? No, parts of it. Yeah. Was one of the greatest of Islamic history? I, I don't think so, no. You said that. It's no, on I, 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 I said. Did I say these words? Yes, you did. I say, no, no. said it would have been one of the greatest books of Islamic history if you didn't It would have been, okay, yeah. So, so then, <laughs> so, so, so look, the, look, the point quote, is quote me is, responsibly. Um, you're sitting in front of me, yeah. so do justice to me. Okay, so, okay. When I, when you know, you know what I think of Mirza. Yeah, but you know what, what I think of his writings. The opponents of I, I, every I, prophet I, say this stuff after the claim. Mirza, if Mirza copies from previous authors' arguments, which I do myself sometimes, yeah. right? I take, I mean, I wasn't born with wisdom and knowledge. I had to acquire it, okay? And I'm still in the process. There's a long way to go, right? So when I quote something, something wise from predecessor, okay? Uh, that's a noble statement. And I'm repeating it. I will get reward for it, right? But if I contradict that statement in the next sentence or on the next page, right? Then I lose my reward. So, However, yeah. having said that, that statement, which is made truthfully, is still valid. Yeah. It still stands. So my point of view on Barahine Ahmadiyya, his book, is that it has noble things in it. I'm repeating it. Alhamdulillah. But it has many stuff, a lot of the stuff that we don't agree with, and it's bad. Okay, okay. Like what? Like what? I mean, there are so many. Have you Masil, read it? Mas yeah, Masil, uh, have you read where, where, he, where, he, where he calls himself Masil okay. Masil 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 yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm answering so this Despite that statement of Masil Masil yeah. about those Ilhamat, but Dalvi said, said that all of these Ilhamat are true. One second, let me just finish. Now, the second thing is our view is that every man should be treated with the same criteria. The truthfulness of the Nabi, Nabi, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and every claimant should be treated with And where does the authority of a Nabi come from? Okay, so Allah, the Quran, right? yeah, but the Quran, my point is the Quranic criteria for a 
Nabi's life. What no. is it? In the Quran. Book? Quran is the last book from Allah. I agree. Okay. The Quran tells us who, who the last prophet is. Where does it say the last prophet? It says Khatam Nabi. What does Khatam mean in Arabic? Yeah, what is what's the listen, Arabic Khatam? Listen, this what is Khatam? Have you read our ulama's books on this? I have, I have completely. Have you read They have completely Zulai. destroyed your foundation. Zulai. Okay, so they, if have they, have, they have destroyed. Okay. I mean, for me to indulge in this so topic. So, what is, what is Khatam? What ism is it? You know Arabic. What ism is Khatam? What do you mean, what ism is it? Is it ism fa'il? Is it which ism is it? I don't know. It's Sorry. ism ala. Okay, ism ala is a tool. Khatam has been used by the Arabs since forever. Like for example, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani is Khatam al okay. Was he the last muhaddith? Okay. okay, number one. Number two, Khatam in Arabic is seal. It's in Sahih al-Bukhari, the Nabi system When, when this is Khatam al okay. They don't mean the best. What do they mean? That means the end of what they say. So where they okay. No, no, wait, wait. When you misrepresent our sources, yeah. I have to stop you there. Okay, so where when, do you when, when, when Khatam al Shuara, Khatam al Muhaddithin, Khatam al Khatam al Fulan, oh, Fulan, yeah. okay, yeah, Khatam al Awliya, for example, they mean the end of Awliya, okay. not the best. Okay, they could say Aftal al Anbiya, Aftal al Muhaddithin. Okay, after the Quran, after the Shuara, when they use the word, when our literature uses the word Khatam, yeah. they only mean one thing, and that is the end. So why? The end. So, so we will never, we will never understand Wait, so it otherwise. Okay, let's go to Imam Suyuti. So, so, is Khatim atul Kufas. Is no one after Mahafiz of the Quran? I agree with you. I agree with you. But when the caller, or when the one who gives the title. It uses the title, they mean out of their own, uh, you know, gratitude for the work this person may have done, for their, for their inspiration this person may have imparted uh, to the one who gives this title. Because of their... Uh, Greatness. Yeah, no, because of their, uh, their gratitude, they give them this title, Khatam ul okay, so For example, for some people, Imam Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani is Khatam ul Exactly. Okay, now that doesn't mean... There are no other audio. We don't have to that's agree a, with that. That's your yeah. point. So that's yeah. your point. So, so no, but to, to them, no, that's not the point. The point is, the one who's giving the title, what does he actually mean? Does he mean the best yes. or the last? Best. He means the last. Yes. You're claiming this. You're claiming that they mean the So you're and, saying oh, he means last. Last. You're La saying, okay, so the, last of the, okay. the last of okay. the Mohicans. So, okay, okay. The last samurai. Look, look, look. The last samurai. Look, look, you know, to, to give you... To give you the, the, that doesn't mean there are no samurais afterwards. Exactly. The word last means last. Last to the person. But in, in the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He uses the word Khatamul Anbiya. Khatamul Nabiyyin. Yeah. Okay. Khatamul Nabiyyin for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to read that verse in light of... The Prophet's own teachings. I agree. What's okay, the shining of and the eye? Let me explain. Let me explain first. The, the, the larger picture of this ayah, when we look at it, is basically in light of the Prophet saying, La Nabi Abadi, there's no Prophet after me. If there was a Prophet after me, it would have been Omar. Oh, Ali, you are to me like Harun was to Musa, but there is no Prophet after me. Okay, then for example, the Quran says, Al Yoma Akmaltu Lakum Dinakum, Wa Akmaltu Alekum Nehmati, Wa Raditu Lakum Ul Islam Adina. Okay, here this verse is categorically stating that religion is complete and we find no reference to another prophet coming after Muhammad okay. in okay. Zilli, in Zilli or Buruzi. I, I will, I will. Zilli and Buruzi capacity, we have no prophecies from Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu That because you see the reason why we believe in Isa salam, who will descend near the end times physically from the heavens is because of the Sharia. Sharia is basically Quran and Sunnah. Yeah. What Allah taught and what the Prophet taught. Sallallahu Sallallahu So it is part of Sharia for us to believe in, in a prophecy. In the Zulay Masih, yeah, in a, but there is no such prophecy about a man called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani who will be chronically sick of many diseases, many conditions, will claim to be the Messiah who heals people 
but himself okay, is now riddled. Let me, let's, let me explain now you mentioned disease. a lot yeah. of points. Yeah. Okay, so now let me let me explain many points you said. Firstly, you agreed that Khatam is used for last, but people can't come after. Number one. Number two, the Shan and Nuzul of the ayah. No, this is let this is finish, this is when it when it is used figure of speech. Okay, okay. When it is used as figure of speech okay. in the Quran. Yeah. That's not the use. Okay, so this is your. Yeah, is that the yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what yeah. you're saying. Do you agree that Khatam al Nabiyin is a fadila? Not necessarily. Okay, you said not necessarily. Not Nabi. necessarily. Okay. Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Linguistically, said, not necessarily. Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it but, is. In Sahih no, Muslim, let me bro, finish. Let me finish. Again, again, listen to me. Yeah. I'm saying generally, linguistically, no, not necessarily. Okay. But Rasulullah, in the case of Rasulullah, yes. Okay. Okay. Ask me specific okay. question, okay. and I'll give. Okay. In the case of the Messenger of Allah, it is a fadila because he is the seal of the Prophet. Agreed. He closed Agreed. the doors of Prophethood. So now, that's a fadila. Now look, khatam. The word khatam. I told you, it's ism Allah. It's used to authenticate ism Allah. Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was had his. All of this is irrelevant. That's how the process is no, himself is. This is all irrelevant. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, but he, he, he's, he's going Look, to. Nabi yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kuntu Khatam al-Nabiyyin wa anna Adamu lam munjadil al-Hayyin. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kuntu Khatam al-Nabiyyin wa anna Adamu lam munjadil al-Hayyin. The hours Khatam al-Nabiyyin, even before Adam Alaihi Wasallam yeah. was born. We he was the authentication of, of the prophets. You quoted three ahadiths. La Nabi Abadi lo kana ba'di Nabi la kana umad. And anta minni bi manzilati Harun bin Musa. Illa anahu la Nabi Abadi. Right. Just hear me out. Hear so, me out. Is I'm this just hear that the you guys point. still hear claim a prophet out of the point. point. The ahadis of la Nabi Abadi. You accept them, we accept them. But the difference is, you actually contradict them. Because you say, no prophet after the Sulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But you know, Isa Alayhi Salam, he will come as a Nabi after no, the Sulullah Sallallahu No, we don't believe that. We don't say that. He's once a Nabi, forever a Nabi. So when he wait, comes, wait, will he be wait, a Nabi? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you, you're not hearing me, you're not listening to me. Once a Nabi, forever, forever a Nabi. His Nabuwa was granted to him when? Before Nabi. Before Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His Nabuwa is done. It's his, done. Wait, it's wait. Finished. His title, his ministry, his capacity as a prophet is done. Once he ascends to the heavens, it is done. It is completed. It's fin his mission is done. So his okay. Nabuwa is finished, right? His, 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 his prophetic ministry is finished. Now that doesn't mean the title will be taken away from him. If Musa a.s. was to come back, he would follow Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But would he be a Nabi? My question to you. He Answer would my be question. A if he no, came back. no, no, no. But he's no. dead. We, we don't make that distinction. Okay, so Answer, is answer is my question. Is, would he? Would yeah. he? Would he be a Nabi? Would would he would if, follow this shit? If, if the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called him Ya Nabi Allah, yeah. yeah, would the Prophet be wrong? If no, Musa was to come back, but no, he would. He would, he would because be Musa, Musa was a Nabi. No, that's what I'm saying. He would yeah. be called so, Nabi. So, so, Musa was given the title Nabi by Allah. Yeah. He did his ministry, okay. And Rasulullah when he met them in the heavens, yeah. right? And we believe he met them physically. Yeah. For okay. Sure. How the dynamics, the kafia, we don't know. We will never know because they they haven't been explained. Was it Berza? We don't know. We don't. I mean, for me to speculate, okay. for me to postulate, so the other I would be a Ambiya, fool. The other to, Ambiya he met, were they there with it, their physical? I I, I believe this, this was a physical meeting. I'm seeing the other the journey, Ambiya. the journey entirely was physical. No, I'm seeing the other Ambiya. Which one? Who he met in the heavens, like Musa, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, were they there with their earthly bodies? Why would you ask this question? Because it's important. No, 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 because it no, solves no, everything. Because, between because us. the answer is not there. You will not it be able to. There. But we know. Okay. It is because Allah took their souls only. Okay. Right. Great. So how can you see their earthly bodies when, left there? When they Allah, when the Allah skies? brought them to pray behind Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was Barza. Okay. It was okay. a Barza Himara. No, no, Imam no, Zahab, no, 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 it was Barzakh. Yes. That prayer? Yes. Okay. Barzakh was was Barzakh. the Prophet in Barzakh? No, he wasn't. So the, the, the Prophets behind him were in Barzakh? Yes. So what's the point of making... I it mean, shows the greatness of Rasulullah no, no, no. and makes him Imam al But the wait, question remains, okay, wait, wait, on wait, wait, wait. you said Isa alayhi islam I agree the with the scholars. I agree with the scholars. The overwhelming majority. Okay. 
uh, assuming what you're what you're claiming, what you attribute to other scholars is true. I agree with the other scholars. But this was a physical. This was a physical journey, finished, all the way. You see, Musa his nabuwa is finished, right? Uh, I am saying because he used the words finished. No, no, no. I am saying Isa alayhi salam was given the title prophet. Do you do you agree? Of course. Okay. When the Prophet <coughs> prayed in front of uh, all the prophets in Masjid al Aqsa, okay, what was the point of that prayer? The Prophet leading the prayer in front of the prophets. That shows his superiority over all Allahu Akbar. But, but not, not, the finality? What do you mean not the finality? Not the finality. Was Mirza was Mirza among those prophets? It was a person. What, 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 okay, yeah. okay. If you the, show me, when you bring one, me the one list second. of the Ambiya, he was one, there as one, well. One, yes. one, one second, one second, yeah. one second. We are told that the Prophet led all the prophets in Masjid al Aqsa. All the prophets. Yes? Okay. And this to us means that the Prophet is closing the matter. Because he's the final messenger, that's why he's leading all the prophets. Okay? So anyone who was a prophet, not necessarily a Rasul, who was a prophet, prayed behind Rasulullah. We have no trace of Mirza in that but gallery. But you don't have a list of who is No, we there. don't, we don't. Where, no, no, where? but we, so we have the list. We have the list. No, food. we have the list of all the prophets who came before Muhammad. Before? Sallallahu but Sallallahu it Sallallahu. doesn't mention no, the Ambiya. No, that's the point. The point yeah. is the fact that he leads them all in that prayer, that seals the matter. That there is no... I mean, even in this, there is a statement that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last of prophets and all prophets who came before him now, in see, prophetic capacity. I am so Muslim. amazed that you this know all of this Muslim. and you so still was, believe was in Nabi <laughs> still... mosque, the last mosque. No? So why is it called Akhirul Masajid? Exactly. This is figure of speech. What does it in mean? This, what no, does no. It mean? This what is the problem with the, uh, the Qadianis. What they do is they, no, they take they figure of speech and they use it to challenge decisive categorical it's the statements. Same sentence. No. Do you do you do you do you do you agree with me that figure of speech doesn't always have the, the literal meaning? Of course, yeah. yes. In the Quran, I am claiming when Allah says Khatamun Nabiyin, okay? Here Allah is not making a statement from figure of speech. Here, no, here Allah is making a categorical statement that he is categorically, literally the last of the prophets. No, the this is a literal you, application. The ayah refutes you. What's the ayah? Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadin min rijalikum wa laki rasulullahi wa khatamun nabiyin. So first question I have for you is what is the shani nuzul of this ayah? Do you know the shani okay, nuzul? I'm going to use the same ayah now. I'm, I'm going to challenge you. First tell me the wait, shani nuzul. One wait, thing wait, at a time wait, then you're... Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to shani nuzul, there's a point I want to address. Walakin Rasulullah. Yeah? Wa khatam al This wow, this wow between Rasulullah and khatam al Okay, joins them, yeah? Yes. It's a connector. Yeah. It's, it's a connector. Yeah. Atf. Yeah. This is a vow of Atf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So this vow connects the term Rasul with Khatam and Nabi. Okay. Now you're claiming that even though Allah says he is the last of prophets as we translate it, okay, there's another prophet after him. No. Yeah. Wait, okay. yeah, you claim it. Is there another Rasul after him as well? Okay, so this is a really important question. But first you have to tell me the Shani. Because Wa is the connector. I'll answer this. I'll yeah. answer this yeah. inshallah. Yeah. But first you have to tell me what is the no, Shani. No, first Rizul answer this question. First okay, answer this according question. to the Ahmadiyya theology, and you know this very well, that there's a division amongst the ulama. Some ulama say Nabi and Rasul are the same. Let me ask you a question. No, don't play this game okay, now. Listen, listen, because listen, Allah makes this distinction listen, in the Quran. Okay, and this, what, this, what, is a, this is a wa, Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. is a separator a and it's a connector what's a rasul um, uh, someone who comes with the sharia okay was ibrahim alayhi salam a rasul yes was ishmael alayhi salam a rasul no quran calls him a rasul no if i show you the ayah right now look look okay if ismail alayhi salam was a rasul he's never got a sharia what, yeah, yeah yeah wait how do we know that brother how do how can we prove that let's let's say i take you 
let, let's say I accept it no to save time. So that, how do we know he didn't bring Sharia? Because Ismail because, because, was a follower of no, Ibrahim. No, 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 no. Yeah, he was did did, did Isa alayhi salam bring a Sharia? No, he didn't. Okay. Why is he called, called a Rasul? Because he's a Rasul. Because, no, because he, he, did, he, did, he did bring... He did bring changes. He didn't bring changes. He corrected the Jews what they themselves changed. There are prophets who followed the previous Sharia. So what's the Wait, shining I mean, I mean, I mean, guy with? Let me explain now. You, you, you're confusing a lot of people now. Because people, are people, no, they, no, no, no. These are good gymnastics. The they, they, they are making us stretch what's our this? muscles and making us stronger. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you move on from this topic. No. The Shani Nizul Adnan Sebi answers okay. that you say it means last wait, is wrong Wait, you just made a point You just made a point Rasulullah I'm saying You are claiming If you use the same verse Yeah For Khatamun Nabiyin To mean something different than the last prophet Because we are claiming Khatamun Nabiyin Means the last prophet but you're, you're, saying, you're saying the best prophet yeah. And there's another prophet. So we, we accept last let me, let me, as well. Let me clarify for the okay, audience. Then I'll give you our four wait, meanings wait. as well. You're saying Khatam and Nabi means the best prophet. Yeah. We are saying it means the last literally. Not yeah. figure of speech. Yeah. Yeah. Not figuratively. But literally. He is the last prophet. Full stop. You're saying no, he's not the last prophet. There's another Zilli, Baruzi. And another time. Another That's umbati, not umbati, new umbati. prophet. But the wait, the wait. Nabi system has after wait, Nabi Akbar. Wait, wait. I mean... We I'm believe to, the Messiah I'm came as Now, a when you use this verse yeah. to claim that, then now you have to also concede that there's a Rasul coming as well. No, we don't. Because Mirza never claimed to be a Rasul. He did. You agree? He did. Rasul? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, see, That's a bigger Nabi problem. That's a bigger said, problem. Nabi okay, okay, okay. said, Nabi Wait. said, Nabi said, Nabi said, Nabi said, Nabi said, he said the Messiah will be a Nabi and a Rasul. The Messiah? When he comes, he will be Nabi and Rasul. Which Messiah? You Isa believe you'll be Isa, Isa al Islam. Al -Islam. We say you'll be no, someone no, from the Mount. No, no, no. no wait, what's, no, no. what's the Mirza shining the soul? I thought maybe you were doing Rasul. marathons no, 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 no. on this. What's the shining no, wait, wait. the soul? Where did Mirza claim to be a Rasul? He says, I am a Nabi and Rasul by way of Baruz in his book, E Galati Ka Izala. He was called Does he Rasul. use the word Rasul as well? Yes. I'm going to check it. Yes, check okay. it. But okay. what's the but shining the soul? What I know from Mirza's writings is that he said, Ummati Nabi or Ghair or Agar Agar if he is claiming to be Rasul, he is contradicting himself. No, he's not. Did he did he clarify in his writings that a Rasul is someone who brings Sharia? Yes or no? No, he didn't. He no? never said that. Okay, then why did he make this distinction because that I did not bring a Sharia? He, look, he believed Isa alayhi salam no, was a Rasul. When when he said I'm a Nabi. Yeah. A Nabi who did not bring Sharia. Because the ulama used to what? translate at his time, and we have references on this. Here My question: opinion. Why is Mirza making this distinction because specifically in his writings that I am an Ummati Nabi because, who did not bring a Sharia, Muslims, and then he's claiming to be a Rasul? Because, because Muslims, whenever he claimed that I'm an Ummati Nabi, they would think, okay, so Islam is being changed, Quran is being changed. So you would clarify that no, I haven't changed. What we no, understand from Rasul. I ask you before you tell me what you understand yeah. from Rasul. You're not answering the question, at Nabi. What is the shining Rasul of that? If you don't know, tell me. Why are you making a big deal because of Shani Nazul? But I don't, I don't it want. It refutes your interpretation no, of Khatam completely. It does not. It does Let not. me explain how. Not. Let me explain how. Okay. Look at the ayah. Ma kana Muhammadun abba ahad. There's the Shani Nazul before you give it to me. Okay, the Shani Nazul is the death of Ibrahim son. Okay, correct? No, it's not. Correct. It's not. No. Okay, what? You're is confusing it with Inna Shani Akhwan Akhwan. No, I'm not confusing it because I know. When Ibrahim died, yeah. the Kufari they the called him Abtar. Yeah, Abtar. Yeah. And then this was the response. Okay. So, so when Makana Muhammadun Aba Akhadim Hazrat Zaid radiallahu anhu. Okay. Okay. When Hazrat Zaid radiallahu anhu. No, no. Let me just so, explain. Yeah, and if you yeah, disagree, yeah. let me. The know. ulama have used this for verse. both. I yeah, agree. Yeah, so I'll, why? Explain so why? Yeah. I'll explain yeah. why. I'll explain why. Yeah. In one eye of the Quran, I hope you listen yeah. fully. Then, if yeah. you believe I'm wrong, clarify. Okay. If you differ with me. Allah said so in why the Quran, time like because it's important, it explains what the ayah means. Allah in the Quran says, Inna shania kahuwan abdar, that your enemy is Ishmael, to Nabi says, it's yeah. your enemy who is without progeny. Yeah. In this ayah, from the outer perspective, Allah agrees that ma kana Muhammadun abba adin mirajalikum, that yes, I agree, Allah is saying, I agree that Nabi Sassam is not the father of any of your men. 
walakin in arabic lakin is called lakin istidlal what it does is it refutes the previous statement and brings the positivity that unless you yes he is not the father of any of the men walakin rasulullah what's the connection with abba and rasul you're using walakin here as rather yes of course okay. so what's the connection yeah. with abba and rasul according to all of the ulama they no. say Listen, and, listen. I, and I don't agree with your rendition. Okay, just hear I don't me, agree with your rendition. Me. All of the ulama you, say. You're playing. No, no, all of them. All don't, of them. Don't, all don't, prove don't, it right now. Okay. Just hear me out. Rasul has to relate to Abba because Larkin is there. They say Rasul, yani Abul Umma, because Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Ahzab, Azwajuhu Ummahatuhum. The mothers, the wives of Nabi Sassam are the mothers of the believers. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the father of the Ummah. That's where the Sulullah is used. No. What? You no. disagree with no, this? No, because the verse says, Abba Ahbin Nirrijalikum. Physical okay. father. Yeah, yeah. He is not. The physical no, father no, no, of any no. of the here, men. Here, yeah, exactly. Nirrijalikum. Because there's a specific point being addressed here. Yeah. Okay? So, Allah is clarifying that He is not the father of any of the men. Yeah. Now, does that exclude women? Of course, Rijalikum is only man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Allah has not given him male progeny. That reached That's the, the age of yeah, male. Yeah. So yeah. This, the, the, you, you're dragging this point. No, but you're, not so you're applying it to the, the whole ummah. That's not the point here. No, the point is not the ummah. What does the point, Rasulullah here mean? How does it relate to Allah? I will explain to you. How does it relate I, to how, Allah? How you, this, is why, this is why I have a strong uh, reservation in sending people to your channel. You see, because you twist and manipulate so our sources. So what did I just twist right now? Because you're, you're applying, I, 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 I'm telling you how you twist it. Okay. Abul Ummah generally in a, in so a metaphorical, Abul Ummah. I agree, yeah. I agree. I mean, we are his spiritual progeny. I agree. Here, wait, let me, if you agree with me, in this verse, Allah is not making a spiritual point. Allah is making a physical point. There's, there's a physical, there's a physical issue at the matter. First part what of is the, the physical matter? Abba, ah, the there's a biological physical. issue at matter. I agree. I yeah. agree. The no, first part. So, so don't don't use that. No. Walakin yeah. Rasulullah answers the first part. So how is Allah responding to Nabi Sism having no physical children, male who reach the male adult age? Are you saying Allah is saying so, so, Nabi Sism is not so the what, physical what, father so, and he also has no So we may be agreeing children. actually. We, we may are. be agreeing. Rasulullah yeah. means he's the spiritual father. No. Khatam al uh, how does Khatam relate to Abba? You have to answer this because Lark in here, it's wow uh, atzma. Abba, 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 how does is it relate it, to Abba? Yes, it is. Okay, it is a biological point. The next one is a spiritual one. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Okay. Here Allah is saying that He is not the father of any man among you, but He is your Rasul. Which means? And the last of the prophets. No, but how does being just a messenger? Yeah. I mean, let me, let me explain our understanding. Yeah, yeah, explain your understanding. This is our Sunni understanding. And tell me if I'm mis 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 okay. misrepresenting it. Abadu. Yeah, wait. Because when we're going to talk over each other, it's going to come in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the audio people and people don't like it. Again, that yeah. not, they didn't let you speak at all. Or people are going to say that Razi was going on and you weren't responding yeah. to him. That's, that's another issue. Yeah, yeah. If, you, I feel, if I let you keep going the on. The ulama of fatwas argue that no, you're I don't, not. I, I, I don't care about fatwas. The sheikh will say you weren't prepared. I, the sheikh Ibn Hazm, he said you weren't prepared. Now the Sunnis are saying he wasn't prepared. No one is ultimately prepared for yeah. anything. You're not prepared for this conversation. I'm not prepared but for this conversation. This well, I don't have like the books in front of me. Ahmadi, Ahmadi ism is not my exper uh, expert field. Yeah. Okay, I've only started to indulge it's in it. Is Sunni is my expertise? <laughs> yeah, you, it, it is. It is. You've been at it. You've been at it for uh, I don't know how long. You've been at it for years. You, you're, you're a proselytizer. You are a missionary. You preach. You, you respond to funny arguments. So you've been at it and for they're, years. They're afraid of okay. the baby. And I must be doing really well. For, for three months, for me to be in the field for three months, you're and doing, I'm still, I'm still handling well you. You're in twisting okay. the sources. No, That's I am for not. Sure. Yeah, Every not. source you quote, when we look at it, it's out of context. No. Every single one. Where, when I talk about Mirza? Everything. So before we get to Mirza, Everything. before we get to Mirza, let me finish this point. Yeah, finish just once, just make sure. So, I didn't put it twice. Like, I just the second thing. Okay. Okay. Do you want to put the charge in? No, it's right. How much battery do you have? 
this. No, that's fine. Let's continue. So this verse doesn't support you because you don't actually believe that Nirza is a Rasul and Nirza did not believe he was a Rasul. Where are you okay. claiming this? I'll tell you why. I'm telling you I'll tell you why because Nirza made a distinction specifically that I am an Ummati Nabi that did not bring a Sharia. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Am I, I Mr. Yeah, right. right. Our understanding of Rasul, our understanding, you don't have to agree with that, our understanding of the term Rasul, Risala. Ar-Risala ar is the message. But this is not wait, our wait, understanding. Wait, okay. This is our, I'm saying but my, he claimed to this be is a saying Rasool, the Sunni. This is, I am saying Rasool. this is the Sunni. Rasul is a word that can be applied to anyone. Yeah. Okay. He can be my Rasul. Of course. You can be my Rasul. Okay, my messenger. But Ar-Risala. Ar-Rasul. Ar-Rasul. No, wait. Ar-Rasul. Yeah. Ar-Rasul means the messenger of God who brought the message or a message from Allah. Okay, Mirza did not claim that. Mirza did not bring a Sharia. No, we don't agree with your definition of Rasul. You don't have to. Ismail, you don't, you, why Sharia would you agree with my definition okay. when you have Mirza to deal with? When you have Mirza teaching so point, you? Why would you agree with my? Everything he yeah. said is something Mirza, Mirza, Mirza broke away from the whole, from the whole Ummah, claiming to be a prophet after Muhammad when he led. All the prophets in prayer in Masjid al-Aqsa. You see, you see, okay, and there's no trace of Mirza. There's no trace. Your ulama, like Nawab Siddiq Hasan Khan said in Hijaj al karama he makes it clear that when the Imam Mahdi comes, he's going to be opposed by the ulama. Are you saying when your Imam Mahdi comes, all of your ulama will be like this man is showing they'll accept him right away? Okay. Now, when Siddiq Hasan Khan says this, do I have to accept it? So you reject it. So That's his would, opinion. So what's your opinion? Wait, wait. Yeah, what's your opinion? Is, is, is this his opinion or is Siddiq Hasan Khan quoting a source from Sharia? This is his opinion, Thank but you. it's not so just why his quote opinion. It? Why quote it the in this conversation? He's not my authority. I quote it, so, Nawab I want Siddiq, to hear your view. I, I have, done a, have you listened to my talk or not? I've listened to your talk and where you praise that yeah. Shah Bali Lamad is there. He was while you like getting messages from Nancy. No, you, you claim. And he said and, Imam and you, Mahdi you was actually, supposed to you come. Actually lied on him. You actually when lied did I lie? You, I didn't you lie. Said, you said I claim. I corrected well, no, myself no, no, when no. I met but, Ilham. Uh, until you corrected yourself, yeah. which, which was but many days. But lie is you something you do on purpose. Yeah, yeah, wait. You, you on purpose. No, wallahi that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> let me, let me, at least let me speaking say. Speaking of lies, at least, at did least Ibrahim al wait, lie? Wait, did Ibrahim another topic, lie? another another okay, okay. another spanner in the works, but another distraction. Okay, okay. So let's stick to the, the conversation we have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This issue of Khatam and Nabi, yeah, it doesn't help you. The Quran doesn't support you because the Quran says, Walakin Rasulullah, yeah, wa Khatam al Nabi. Allah mentions them both together. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you, Mirza claimed to be a Nabi. And I know Rasul. that. And no Sharia. Rasul to us means the one who brings Sharia. Okay. So okay. Bring a Sharia okay. When he comes. No. He's yes. He, no. When he came, yes. He when was he comes Rasul. back, no, no, no. He did. He did bring. Isa alayhi salam did bring changes. How about when he comes back? Will he change Islam? No. Will he abrogate because he's not the jizya? Coming. No. He no. won't abrogate no. the jizya. Because jizya was abrogated by Rasulullah. When? But he said he will do it. So who will wait, do, it do you with? understand? By the way, wait, wait, wait. So it will be Isa, okay, wait, when he comes. Wait, wait, wait. When Isa alayhi salam comes back, yeah. he's not coming back to do anything by himself or on his own. He is coming back to fulfill the commandments. Will he get what he I'm finished. Let yeah. me he will come back to uh, do exactly what the Prophet has I'm already me. foretold. So this is Prophet Sharia. When jizya is lifted, at that, at that particular point, this is the Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah. This is not Isa. Because the Prophet told us, the Prophet told us, Isa, he will come back and he, do, he will do this. So on the authority of Muhammad Rasulullah, Isa will do that. So he will abrogate it, but on the authority... He will not abrogate it. Okay. He will not abrogate it. So the that's, verse was that's, still that's the end. It's not, it's not yeah, abrigation. Yeah, yeah. It's not abrigation. That's so the, your Sheikh Ibn Hazm that, because on they will, stream, he said, what, Let me explain what that means. Let me explain that one. It's not the lifting of jizya. Yeah. It's not the lifting of jizya. It's not the abrogation of jizya or the law. It's the fact that no Ahlul Kitab will be left. Will they be killed wait, wait. if they don't want to accept Islam? 100% Isa alayhi salam. But I have this a video of you end right end now where you end say end that this is not a... You ask, when you ask me a question, you have okay, to let okay, me answer. Okay, okay. okay, you have to have the patience to okay, let me fine. finish. You ask me a question. Isa alayhi salam, when he will come back, 
and this is end times. This is eschatology. You understand yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, eschatology yeah. means war. Yeah. End of the world. That's, that doesn't mean the normal policy. That doesn't mean your normal circumstances. Do you agree? Okay. I don't agree the Quran, that the Quran the, could be refuted because it's the end times. For example, unless no, it's in the Quran, let me just... Let, let me finish Unless first. it's like... Rah, I, will, I, will, I will... Okay, that's, that's what the problem is. Yeah. The Quran tells us to follow the Prophet. The Prophet tells us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that this norm will continue until Isa descends because the end times are not the norm. Okay, the end, even the words of the Quran will be lifted. Agreed? Physically? F the copies will yeah. be will go blank. You know about the hadith, I don't right? agree with that. The oh, well, well. Is lying. You don't that's have to agree. I'm saying the Prophet said it. You don't have I to agree with that. that. You, you, you don't, I don't agree that's a hadith. The hadith says, La yabka min al Quran illa rasmuhu. Nothing will be left of the Quran except its script. You are saying the Quran will physically be erased. Allah I, says, Inna nahu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu la hafizu. So I disagree Are you not understanding? Okay, first of all, let me simplify, simplify it more yeah. so that you can be with me on the same page. There is the norm, there is the norm, and there is the end times. Can the end times wait, go against Quran? Wait, wait. When, when, when Allah will destroy the earth, it will be destroyed or not? Yeah, of course. Yes. Natural will all the copies, will all the copies of the Quran be destroyed when or not? That happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait. When wait. the world will ends. Allah destroy the copies of the Quran with the uh, planet Earth or not? When the whole world ends, that. Of Thank course. you. Now you're with me yeah, on the same yeah, page, yeah, right? Yeah. Do you agree with me now? Yeah. Good. That's the point. So of now, the, okay. now, do you understand me yeah. now? Yeah. So the Quran will be lifted. Yeah. The Quran will but be. You said in the time. Of Isa, Rather, I disagree. The with time Isa, this descending of Isa is a major sign of the Yom al Qiyamah. So was Nabi okay. coming. No, no it, was an, it wasn't Bahabin. a major no, the, the Prophet's coming is not the major sign. Nabi said six things will happen before Qiyamah, the first Yes, religious the Prophet Sallam himself said there are minor signs and there are major signs. If it's a major sign, why would he give why would he be giving us giving us minor signs? If a major sign has come yeah. Then what's the point of minor Minor signs lead up to major signs. Okay, now let me clarify. There are minor signs. For example, there will be abundant killing. Okay, for example, these barefooted Arabs will be lift, uh, building tall signs. Where is your proof that that's a minor sign when that's the one of the only signs Jibreel uh, Alassan said in the Hadith about Iman? What? How can you claim it's a minor sign? I, I, okay, okay this number one, separate number two, topic. You have to answer this Sorry. question that okay. there's an eye in the Quran, Wanau Shah Arabuka. Is this all sweet? It's French vanilla? Oh man. Yeah, but it's coffee and French vanilla. You'll make it. Okay, this is for French vanilla. It's very sweet. By the way, everyone, let me advertise Tim Hortons for everyone. See, he's the agent. He calls us an agent. I'm joking. So, Anami, there's an eye in the Quran. Walau Shah Arabu. No, before we get to another eye. No, 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 let me finish it. Let me finish this. Isa alayhi salam coming back, lifting the jizya, okay, that's the end times, that's not the norm. So when you say, oh, the Quran is being abrogated, the Quran is being challenged, the Quran is being contradicted, because Allah says, la ikraha fid deen, qattabayyan al rushdu min al ghayb, okay, that verse is going to be contradicted. Do you not get the point? You're talking about one verse being contradicted. I just told you the entire Quran. No, the whole Quran. Wait, 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 brother, wait. The, all the copies of the Quran will be lifted. That's when the world okay. ends. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so, so now, the now, Quran let me explain. When Isa comes, when Isa, it's when the book of the heavens as well. Razi, so, Razi, Razi, wait, wait, Razi. Let me, let me wait, Razi. When Isa, no, when Isa descends, when Isa descends, that's the end of the world. Okay, so, that's the beginning of the end. Okay, this is. This is the beginning of the end. Okay, so don't deliberately misrepresent our sources and play this game. So when you say, oh, when you say, oh, look at these Sunnis, they believe in an Isa who will come back and he will commit a genocide. He will kill all these innocent people and he will force them to accept Islam. He will lift the jizya. These Sunnis, these extremists, don't do that because you. Either you don't understand our view, I, I, and if you do, yeah. then you deliberately misrepresent no, it. But you, 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 you know, you, I, I believe you do understand. Yeah, I don't at all. Okay, okay now I will explain to you, right? Let me explain now. Yeah. Okay, no. The Messiah is coming, according to you. Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you one question. 
do the Sunni Muslims believe in committing genocide? Before, do you do you as a Muslim believe it? Yeah. Right now, no. Yeah. But is your aqida is your aqida that wait, a messiah will wait, come wait. and go around killing pregnant women who don't want to accept Islam? No, no, no. We, we don't believe that. When Isa believe. comes, no, no, will he not do that? We don't believe so that. So what if a pregnant okay. woman doesn't want to accept Islam? What would he do? He will he will deal with the situation accordingly. So he won't kill her. Okay. He so just accepted Isa. that your interpretation no, all your ulama no, who said no, Iman Islam or Iman no, Saif, we, they all were wrong. Now that you have asked a very good question, it's a very interesting okay, question you because you want to you put a trap in front of me. Let me, let me deal with the trap. Let me deal with the trap. Sharia, Sharia has to be applied. Do you all agree? Yeah, but first I think let him explain what our view is. No, no, but he asked me a question I have to address it. But let's explain. No, 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 wait, wait. You're saying what about a pregnant woman? When Isa alayhi salam comes to lift jizya, which is a hadith of the Prophet of Islam, means the end times is malhama. Okay, Isa alayhi salam will he kill pregnant women? Okay, the answer is no. Okay, how why? 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 The birth? answer is no. Why? 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 He will wait for them to give birth, and, then and when the child, when the child is for Sharia. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Are you are you aware of? Are you aware of? Are you aware of the incident? And not only that, he will wait for them to raise the children. What's the, what's the, what's okay, the, what's the problem the with that? Times are many the, years. Yeah. Okay. Now you it's just, a you just contradicted your but, own but, 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 our belief. But, but, now let me yeah. share our belief. But you just you know how many your how long will Isa Islam live on earth? According to you guys, forty years. But Ibn Hajj says there's a difference Did you get that? Yes. Did you get that? According to you, according to Ibn Hajj, forty years. In forty years, in forty years, you have plenty of time to check to kill everybody. No, no, it's not about killing, bro. No, the reason, the reason why. Two questions. No, no, wait, wait. Have because I answered your question? I have two questions. No, you haven't. Because there's two questions in your day. Let me no, no. quote the Every, Look, let's you. say a woman gives birth when she's 39 that, years of Isa Lessons coming, 39 years and six months in, she gives uh, she gives birth. Will she, and she doesn't want to accept this. Will he kill her? No. He's about to die in six months. You're stuck now because the IS is I'm not stuck. Even I'm, I'm waiting for you to finish. Okay, what's your answer? Okay, now you're gonna have to be quiet for okay, me to but Let's make it a conversation. Okay. Like we were talking before the camera turned on. Inshallah. Let's make it like yeah. that. Okay. A conversation. Now you ask me a question. I believe Isa alayhi salam, okay, when he comes, he will implement the law immediately. The task he's been given to finish the job, basically, enough is enough. Enough time has been given to all the Ahlul Kitab. To believe in Allah and His Messenger, then Isa alayhi salam. Now, now that you have come back, that option is lifted. Just like the Jal will come back and the Jal will go on a killing spree. Okay, right? Okay, just like that, Isa alayhi salam will come back and lift the jizya. Okay, by giving two options to the Ahlul Kitab. You either believe, now the option is there, because this is the end time now. The time is over. The sun's gonna fall. Okay, the earth will be destroyed. Everything will finish. There will be a fire. Okay, we'll all be gathered now. Okay, so it's over. It's over. So this is not normal circumstances. Okay, so when you try to play this game, I'm so talking to Rosie. Wait, no, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I am. I am. I am. I am finished. Uh, okay, when you play this game to claim genocide on our part. You are misrepresenting us. You're lying on us. Let me finish. No, yeah, no, no, no. You are. You are. You are. Because we are talking about end times. Eschatology means war, destruction, finished. The world is coming to an end. Is that now, the will in, of uh, Allah? Is that yeah. the will no, of Allah that everyone believes? Yeah. yeah is no, that the no. will of You have to answer Brother, this. Isa I, wait, let me finish. Okay, now, now second is, question. 39, 39 wait, years. Wait, before we go to second. This is 39 and a half years. There's a break. Isa al Islam won't won't wait that, that long. Now you you Since thought you thought you thought years I, and the problem months. is Raji, this conversation has come out is gonna come out very bad because you're talking okay, over me and I'm talking over you. It, I don't want it to be like that. We can address these questions, okay. no problem. Okay. And but then let's, you'll let's, give me a chance to give more views. Of course. Okay. But then you have to be quick and I'll be quick okay. as well. So that people can enjoy okay. and sure. learn from our conversation, yeah. inshallah. Okay? You yeah. asked me a very good question. You threw traps in front of me to dismantle my understanding or to possibly make me fall, let's say, right? But my response to that is that Isa alayhi salam will never do something to any innocent people. For example, a child in the, in the mother's womb, he will wait, like the Sharia, like I mean, we have a precedent from the life of the Prophet. A woman came, she was pregnant, and she admitted to zina. What did the Prophet do? I mean, technically, 
he should be executing the law. Yes? What does he tell her? Go back. She goes back, she gives birth to the child, she brings back the child. I'm done. The Prophet goes, tells her to go back. The law is still going to be applied, right? But he gives her time so that an innocent life is not killed. That's law. Isa a.s. will come and execute the law, but he will do it lawfully. Right? Well, that's that's, no, that's the answer to your question. Now let me clarify. Yeah. First, so there's no not, contradiction the between law, la ikrah and no, deen. There is. All and, no, there isn't. I'll explain Brother. right now. On, I'll give you look, the look, time look, to explain. Look, 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 let me, let me, let me let give you my view. Right? Nabi Sism's law is la taqtulu walidan wa la imra'atan wa la shayma. Do not kill women, children, or old men in battle. Right? Yeah. Do you agree? Okay. Now you're saying Isa in battle. And, yeah, in battle. Yeah. In or battle. unlawfully anything. You do not kill. No, in battle, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in battle. Okay, anyhow. You believe you said that Isa alayhi salam will let the woman give birth. Okay? I'm not done yet. If I'm there's a case. Okay. If there's such a case. Okay. Yeah. So if there's a case, once she gives birth, right, let's say it's thirty nine years in and six months. No, why would Isa alayhi salam he comes he comes back, he will do it straight away? No, he will apply the law straight away. The question. Yeah. He's applying the law, right? A woman. Okay, let's give you another example. Okay. But do you do you understand? I understand. Response? Give you. A he will do it within the first year. So is so that, that the, option will is not that, the way, that 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 option will not even that arise the, that way. That he has to wait thirty nine no, years. No, if she gets pregnant at that time, the woman. No, but the the, the the case is dealt with. Already people are dealt with. Okay, fine. Ahlul Kitab are already okay. dealt with. In the first year, okay. he lands. He is here to do a job. Okay. What other job? Lift his ear. Okay, so is that the and break of, the cross. Is it the will of Allah that everyone has to become Muslim according to you? If that was the will of Allah, Allah would have caused all of all the people to be Muslim. Is it the will of Allah that in the Allah says Allah answers answer this question in the Quran, you know? The that's, that's the verse I'm trying to get you. Yeah, yeah. So do you agree that according to the Quran Allah has given us a choice yeah. to be disbelievers and exactly. believers. Exactly. And and we will be we will be we will fail, face consequences of our choice. Exactly. But you're saying that because it will be the end of times, these verses of the Quran, like La Ikraha Fiddin and Walau Shah Arabuka La Amna Fil Ardi Kullu Hum Jamia, Allah says to Nabi Sassam, Afa Anta Tukri Hanas Hatta Yakunu Mumini, that will you force people to convert until they become believers? It seems to me you don't want to get the point. Or you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Which one is it? Which one is saying it? Because it's the eschatology, this stuff, this different circle, different, word, different so word, different word, brother, brother, brother. The law of Islam yeah. applies up to a certain point. Okay, so the laws okay. of Islam. But, and when the world is destroyed, yeah. the, when the world is destroyed, the law of Islam doesn't apply anymore. Okay, so when you understand? Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's the, my answer. So the, our view. Let me give you our view. Yeah. Our view is that. According to the Quran, your view is not the law, yeah. uh, the, the view of Islam, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, so our view, which we believe is the true Islam, and we believe your view is in that of Islam, is that Hazrat Isa, alayhi salam, according to the explicit verses of the Quran, has died. He's never coming back. On the day of judgment, he says to Allah that this shirk of the Christians began after I died, not while I was alive. Okay. These ahadiths, like Yaq Sirus Salib, like Yaq Tirul Khindi, we debated it last time as well, and Yadda ul Jizya, Yadda ul Jizya does not mean that he will say, Imma al Islam or Imma Say, because for us, through the world ends, and even the book of the skies, the heavens, the Akhla, is the Quran for us. It's that's fine. Khindi, that's your view of right? it. So all of we the. We don't love, agree with it. Yeah, you don't have to. But our point. We, we believe it's false yeah. for all the reasons I've already fine, given. That's fine. But we because believe, you, you, you put we spin, believe because the ayat of the Quran your, will remain your view forever. Is, your view is completely and inconsistent. True. Your view is completely. The Quran says uh, in, the, in the last jewels of the Quran, there are so many surahs where Allah describes the, the day of judgment. So what are the signs? And, and the destruction. What are the signs? And what does that mean? What is this mean? Okay. First, read the whole surah. I don't have it memorized, but I'm saying this. You so, so don't just pick. No, just, don't no, just pick this, one. Okay, choose any ayah from that. Let's scene. let's have that Q and A we were having before. Okay, okay. okay. So let's let's, do let's that. go to another let's, topic. We discussed no, no, this. We don't believe yeah. you can force anyone. No, to no, no. Not. I'm not going to force you. I'm telling you, you how inconsistent well. how inconsistent your view is uh, in comparison to ours. I'll tell you why. Yeah. We believe in Isa ibn Maryam. 
the hadith literature consistently this is why the problem you know the why why people 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 think that Ahmadis are blind followers of Kufr blind followers of Kufr they deliberately they deliberately cho choose Kufr over over belief and we think uh, you did that, right? no problem okay. okay let's people let people decide let people decide and see which one follows the Quran and the Hadith Ahadith. thank you okay the Hadith Mutawatir of course Mutawatir yeah they say Isa ibn Maryam is coming back. As Imam wait, 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 wait. You wait. take one way to Wait, 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 wait. Who is, Hadith tells us the name and the profile and the characteristics. Okay? Hadith tells us the one coming back or the one descending from the heavens is... It doesn't say from the heavens. Now you're adding to the words of Rasulullah and you, mm -hmm. you mentioned the Ahadis do not mention the Messiah. I will tell you where yellow. it says the heavens. It says you will coming tell you through yellow garments. The, the problem is, Razi, you don't stop. You don't okay, stop. Okay, speak, you don't speak. stop stopping me. Do you want to time it? Okay, no, no. Because then you give us the No, but then then can, can we not make a conversation? Okay. Yeah, make yeah, it a conversation. conversation. Make it natural and, and organic. Okay. The Hadith says that Isa, the son of Mary, is descending with two angels. Yeah. Descending means he's gonna come from the heavens or come from above, let's say, right? In fact, there's a hadith that even states, uh, uh, I don't remember the hadith with the Samar. There are. Uh, no, 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 that's the hadith. That's the hadith. Of the What's Samar. descending for us? So okay, so you said. Nizur. But all the hadith, the word Nuzu, and even one hadith even says that he will descend the with two angels. Angel. Where do angels come from? Did the prophet wait, wait, wait. My simple question. Where do angels come okay, from? So I'll please, 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 yeah. please. Just let's make it easy. Where do angels come so from? So our belief isn't like yours that angels are somewhere in the heaven and they physically come okay. down and they're not on yeah, earth. Yeah, but right okay. Now. No, I'm not we asking for you. Where, where do angels There's come from? There's two angels on your shoulders right now. Where did they come from? They, they actually come from originally from so heaven. So do they keep going up and yeah. down every day? We don't know. Okay, so we don't believe we, that. No, we don't know. We, they, have been, they, have been, they have been given a job to do. Yeah. Okay. Where did... Harut and Marut come from? We have a different view. No, no, wait. We, believe, we don't believe Harut, Marut, like you guys believe that they were angels who committed sins. We don't okay. believe that. Okay. But my question to you is, right, did Rasulullah that. descend? <laughs> so what do you believe did, then? Did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam descend? The Quran calls them Malakain. The but Quran it doesn't say they sin. That's what I'm saying. I we don't, believe they're angels. We don't say they, they did exactly what they were said to do. Okay, we don't... They were okay. trials. So, yeah, they were a trial. And they said we are a trial. They were sent to be a trial. Okay, course, so, so, so don't assume... Do. Okay, wait. The Quran says they're angels. And my question is, where did Harut and Marut come from? Okay, they were on earth. They weren't no, they were no. physical no, angels no, no. like from the sky. They, no, were, no, they no. were religious people. Okay. Okay, they weren't that's, some, that's your view. They weren't really Malak is Okay, where, 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 where did the Prophet see Jibrail? Where did the Prophet see Jibrail? They have Kalbis for his time as well. Lakad, lakad ra'a, lakad ra'a, bil uf. Bil uf uf kil a'ala. Okay, where's uf uf? The highest of the high. No, where, where's uf uf? The horizon. Horizon is where sky, right? Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's that it. So you're making it you're making it unnecessarily that that painful. Mean, that mean okay. That the angels. So so Isa Isa alayhi salam will be seen coming down with two angels, and we are saying he will, he will come from okay, heavens did, with the angels. Did Nabi he will come from the heavens. So that's the one. I mean, you don't have to accept the answer. But did Nabi sallallahu alayhi salam come with angels alone? Where from? Did Nabi sallallahu descend? From where? Did from where? Ask, I'm asking. Isa alayhi salam, it says he, he will 